My name is Christopher Strebel. I work at the World Health Organization in uh, Geneva, and I'm speaking at Omni Channel X. And I wanted to give you a preview of what I'm going to talk about uh, at Omni Channel X um, and the challenges of working in a digital ecosystem at a place like the World Health Organization during a pandemic. So let's uh, get started here. Um, so we have a quite a complex digital ecosystem in WHO. Um, we have a couple ways we think about content. So we have the Sitefinity CMS, which is the, you can see in the top, top right there. And we have three regional sites with Europe, Western Pacific, Southeast Asia. These are all different websites. We have 101 country sites. There's a small rendition of some of the ones in the Western Pacific region. We have partnerships which are branded differently. They're co-brands. They're sometimes working with the United Nations or other partners that need a different look and feel. Then we have websites that are logins, portals, um, like digital health, aging. We have um, vaccines portal. Um, and we have ones with other functionality. So it creates a, several different cloud instances. And then we also have our mobile apps where we have content flow from the website, flow from headquarters, flow from a country, and they all come onto these various mobile apps and websites. Um, because of all this content and so many people working around the world, we have like 500 uh, people editing content on a daily basis. We have a very complex domain model. And because of that, we need, we have a, a large landscape that we need to hang things off of. And we simplify the domain model into three key concepts, health topics, teams, and activities. Now, health topics are general interest to the general public, and um, activities are more to our donors to show how we're advancing, how we are solving different issues that they've given money for. And then the teams is really highly technical, highly medical content. But on each of these, you can surface and share the same content. So on each of them, you might have a news and if appropriate, can be surfaced on all three of these pillars of the um, simplified domain model. All events, all publications. So content can be shared pervasively throughout the uh, website. Now let's look at how it's, it's multi-channel. And one of the ways we're multi-channel is actually even outside of WHO and it's with Google. So we have knowledge graphs, and here I've typed in COVID. I'm in Switzerland, so I pick up everything on Switzerland. And you can see how, on this slide, items that are on Google Knowledge Panel on the left are actually coming directly from our website. So we have symptoms, which is one of the tabulated content that we have that's structured each time in the same way. So Google knows to go there for symptoms. When you go on to symptoms, you can see it's a copy-paste of the most common symptoms right off the website. We also have areas that are coming from our dashboard and data on how many, how many cases of COVID there are. And then we have other areas as well. So we have four areas that are coming straight from our website onto Google. We also have a, we also share data. And here you can see an example of it where the one on the far left is our website. We're coming from our, our XSmart database. We have the latest confirmed cases the number of confirmed deaths and, and countries. And that feeds into other applications and websites. So directly to the right of that, we have the COVID-19 app where we have um, the exact same cases and deaths. They both update um, dynamically as soon as the new data comes in. The third one with the little pictures at the bottom of, of the lady getting a vaccine, the numbers are different there because it's filtered out just for the data of deaths and cases in the Western Pacific region. And then finally, we have another app also using the data. So both for content and for data, we can share these cross pervasively across the ecosystem. Um, so it's really um, exciting things. If you come to the rest of my talk, you will hear about some of the challenges we've had, um, what we've overcome, what we still have left to get right. Um, but thank you very much for listening. I hope to see you at the um, Omni Channel X uh, conference. You can visit the website, omnichannelx.digital, and hope to see you there. Thank you.